Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another fourth gen Toyota Tacoma video. This one, insane spy shots. And in this video, I wanna break them down, kind of dissect them a little bit with you guys. And you guys let me know in the comment section what else you see. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, getting into these photos, this is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's the Trail Hunter. Now, the spy photographer that emailed me these photos was stating that it may be the TRD Pro because it has beefed up suspension, better mud terrain tires and stuff. But the more we look at it, and I got a lot of photos, tons of photos to go through, guys. Uh, the more I look at it, the more it looks like to me the Trail Hunter and not the TRD Pro. So getting into this kind of side profile first, and again, if I'm missing anything, guys, and you notice anything else, comment section, go light it up. Uh, we'll start out on the side with some rocker panels. This has rocker panels on the side there too. You could tell that it kind of has like a little bit of a roof rack and this was documented too because the roof rack um, spy sheath kind of actually flew off I guess when this thing got onto the highway. And then here on the A pillar, you could see that it may be a snorkel which comes out in more photos. Taking a closer look at the front of it, we can see a nice little skid plate down here too. So we got a skid plate right there, looks aluminum kind of like the one uh, for the TRD Pro. These are some Goodyear mud terrain tires. These wheels look kind of cool. Haven't really seen those from Toyota before. And then just look at these fenders again, man. These fenders look very big. And then you could tell that the A-pillar on the driver's side compared to the passenger side, the passenger side is nice and thick. Again, we have a roof rack. And just looking at the fronts, they seem the same. This front end, it's really hard to tell in the silhouette. But this front end here too, you can see huge high clearance right here. Granted, it's all under wraps. We, we can't really see it that well, but all under wraps and man, super excited for it. More side profile. Look at this bed. This bed right here looks like a six foot bed. Don't know yet if this bed is a five and a half foot, if Toyota's leaving the, the five foot bed for a bigger bed of five and a half feet, but this bed looks very big compared to the leaked uh, tees that Toyota gave us in the past. So definitely looks like a longer wheelbase truck for sure, as opposed to this one, right? So you look at this and then you look at this one, that's such a short bed box in the back compared to this. So I would say that those that are wanting the six foot bed on the Tacoma to like stay, it looks like it may be staying unless this door right here, right? Unless this door right here is for a, um, access cab and not the full double cab, but the door looks pretty big. And then you can even tell too, like with the rocker panels uh, the, or rock sliders or whatever these ones are, like I don't know if they're bolted to the frame or just on there, um, but it extends past that door pretty well. Uh, and just like my third gen Tacoma that I had, it extended past the door um, with the rock sliders. Taking a look at the front end, looks very uh, Tacoma-esque. Got the lower control arms here. Can't really like depict any Fox shocks, any red or anything out of that. But we could see the front camera right here. If you guys see my cursor right there, we can see the front camera right there on the truck. They have it down because they're testing that out. More photos too. Now we don't know how tall this driver is, but you do see also a Tundra right behind them. So we do know that that is a Toyota vehicle. And then we got a roof rack up here. It looks like it's uh, cut out for a light bar. And again, that A pillar on the passenger side compared to the A pillar on the driver's side. We're gonna get a closer look at that. Got some sensors down here in the bumpers. Can't really see the upper control arms that well, right? But the Trail Hunter, the Trail Hunter is built around suspension. Like when they told us about that at SEMA, when the Trail Hunter Tundra was released, they said, we're building it around the suspension to show some things on the truck. Uh, like it, it's gonna be very capable for heavy duty work basically like a more of a pack mule whereas the tier d pro is going to be more of just like a, a balls to the walls just very fast truck and it's very hard to tell like you can't see any remote reservoirs or anything like that in there uh, but goodyear wrangler territory mt tires can't really see the size unfortunately uh, but the hood though like the hood is long compared to that hood too taking a closer look can't really see the inside of the cab then look at this right here see that snorkel we got a snorkel right there on the driver or on the passenger side. So um, it, it may be a hybrid, it may not be a hybrid. That doesn't matter because there's still an internal combustion engine in this vehicle. And if it's only a single turbo, 
then that means it'll only have one snorkel, right? Because if it was a, a twin turbo, like the Tundra, that has two separate intakes going into the turbos, into the engine. So the way snorkels work is how it sucks in the air, right? It's sucking it in higher, so it's not sucking it in from your engine. Like if you were to water cross and water get towards the engine, it's not sucking in water. So the fact that there's only one snorkel here, unless like the piping is all in the one snorkel, means that there's only one turbocharger or none, just depending on the engine that this truck has. Boom, look at this side profile, holy smokes. Long truck, right? Long freaking truck. Oh, so. <laughs> I'm so pumped about this truck. So these doors look big. You can tell right here, this is where our cab stops. And this most likely is like the, ton the Tacoma's body. Like this should not be a morphed together truck anymore at this point. So you can tell that the cab ends right here, pretty much. And then this is just coming down kind of like this, like the uh, Brazilian spy photos show us. It's coming down like right here. Big door, big door, kind of weird like window placement right here but big bed. This has to be a five and a half foot or six foot bed for sure, for sure in this Tacoma. But look at that side profile, man. Another side profile, the bed looks even longer. Oh my God, so, so good. So haven't really seen these tires in like really any other Tacomas. Um, they do look pretty cool. Just imagine like a little TRD logo on them or something, or maybe they're gonna cut them out for uh, other Tacoma models but we do have brakes in the back. The whole back is covered up, most likely the multi-link rear suspension. Uh, they have it all covered up back here, but look how long that bed is. Six foot bed, like I, I would have to say, either five and a half foot or six foot. I know I've already said that, but yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then we can see the, uh, the snorkel a little bit more right here too. So we can see the snorkel, you see the, the grill fins to suck in air. Uh, not sure if right here, maybe it'll have another kind of part that goes out to it because the TRD Pro Tacoma, I want to say it wasn't the cement one. I think it was the Voodoo Blue. I don't remember what year it was for Tacoma that they did a snorkel on it, but they only did it for like a couple years. So maybe Toyota is coming back with it. But yeah, again, this is really making me think that this is some sort of trail hunter or just a different built truck. Can't really see that much in the back. Toyota really has it covered up. Have they been using these sliders? They may have been using those sliders because those look pretty wrecked, man. Uh, and then we have our, our composite bed there again too, fully boxed frame. Super nice. Nice back photo of it. You can see kind of the top up here of the window. Hard to tell if it's like a full roll down window or not, but we have all the cameras and stuff here for the full 360 camera view. Roof rack again, and just look at how big and aggressive these fenders are like big bulge on them you know <laughs> big bulge like just they, they look like fiberglass just wider fenders for sure and we can tell that this is the tacoma too just again those tail lights like the ones that toyota leaked to us this is most likely being tested up in michigan right now at their testing plant and again don't know how tall this driver is but it looks like he has a decent amount of room so i mean maybe another six to eight inches above his head. Again, we don't know how tall he is though, but super pumped, super pumped. So that's that's the last of the photos, guys. So what do you think about the 2024 Tacoma? This one, we got a little bit more, right? This is most likely a double cab, full four doors. It is hard to tell because this thing is heavily wrapped. Nothing we like haven't seen before, but like kind of exciting, right? Because of a snorkel and a roof rack. I mean, it's not the like most mind blowing thing. People are gonna do this to these vehicles anyways when they buy them, they're gonna put snorkels, they're gonna put roof racks on them, rock sliders, all this stuff. But the fact that this is still being tested by Toyota is pretty cool to see. And then a full six foot bed potentially on these trucks because people were curious if the longer box was still gonna be on the truck. It looks like a deeper bed. The cab looks a little bit bigger too, so. Very, very excited about it. We don't really see anything else though in these photos except for that. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.